Now last thing for this project, we will create one search field. By that you can search your employee in your database. So back to my editor, this file of view from database.php file. Now in the same file, I will add the search tab right at the top before this table. So bringing this file. So inside this file view from database.php, I will add here one feed. So adding first of all one div and that div will have a field set inside we will have one form and and here in this form we will have an input field first one will be with the type of text and its name will be search and then we will have another input field with the type of submit its name will be search button and its value will be search record now let's also add the placeholder inside this input field so it will be search by name and ssn so if i save this one and refresh my page of view from database you can see we got this input field right here so the idea is the user will put some ssn or name inside this field and we will present the record in form of a table right below this field so this field will search by name or ssn so we have to first get this button of search record so right after this div of search we will have one php scope in which i will add the necessary thing to search records so first of all i will have this if condition so i will say that if my this button this input field is set so if this search button is active so by using the super global of get i will say that if this search button is active then you should perform all of this code so let's also add the comment here so ending of submit button so if this search button is active we will have one variable with the name of search that will be equal to super global of get and it will get this field of search this input field this input field so putting it here we will have this variable of search and then we will have one search sql so sql will be select all the columns from my table of emp underscore record where the ename or ssn column because we said we are going to search by the name or the ssn so where my ename column in my database is equal to this named parameter of search with the capital H at the end that I'm going to define in a moment or my SSN column is equal to this named parameter of search that I'm going to define then on the next line we have to prepare our SQL so I will have this variable st empty that will use our database connection of connecting DB so let's add this one in a global scope in case if you are working with the lower version of php so adding the connecting db variable here we already include this database file here so by using this database we can prepare our sql and passing my sql here then on the next line we will bind values to our named parameter so stmt calling the method of bind value and putting this named parameter here inside bind value function in a single quote and the second parameter I have to put the actual value so that this field will be SQL injection free then on the next line we will execute our query so calling the execute method with the smaller 
e at the beginning then on the next line we will have our while loop in which we will have this array of data rows that will use our stmt object and call the method of pdo which is fetch in order to fetch the data so here we will have couple of variable so the first variable will be our id then we will have our variable of ename then we will have our variable of ssn then we will have our variable of department then we will have our variable of salary then home address now it will get our data rows column of id from the table then for this ename we have to get the column of ename which is smaller in our database then for ssn we have to get this column of ssn let me show you which column this ssn column then dpt salary and home address exact name then inside the same scope of search button i will add one table so first of all let's put this ending of while loop and our ending of submit button in a separate php scope and closing first this one so then we have this ending of our while loop so here we will have our table that will have some caption its caption will be search result so inside the first table row we will add couple of items here table heading so let me add couple of th here so first one will be for the id then we will have our name then ssn social security number then department then salary and then home address and then search again after that we will have our table data inside one tr so adding couple of tds here so the first one will be for the id so adding one php scope and equing my id variable this id variable then for my ename then ssn then department then salary then home address and at last we will have one link here so adding one anchor tag that will go to this page of view from database.php so that the user can click in order to search again so saving this one i put every single thing inside this submit button so you will not be able to see this whole table until you click on this submit button so if i save this one and first refresh my page so if i put this ssn of jazib here search record you can see i'm on my index.html page it's because of not adding the action attribute in our form so here you can see we have our form on line 14 so making the action attribute to get the php from this page of view from database.php and its method will be get because we will get something out of this field of search and first of all let's refresh this page to bring the new php now if i give it this ssn search record you can see we got the search result of jazib here and why it's not in the same panel so our table is starting from here it has the caption it has the table data so i will add couple of nested style on this table tag here i added width border and the line in the center and let's wrap up all of this table inside one div so that it should be in the center of our 
whole page almost center so putting this ending div right after this table tag so if i save this one and refresh my page you can see it's in the center of the page so here we don't have the link here why is that it's because of not adding something here like search again saving this one refreshing my page so if i click on search again you can see i'm back to the page of view from database.php if i give it name of walter search record you can see this record of walter if i search my record of akram you can see this one if i give it something like nick just nick search record there is no record of nick if i give it this ssn still nothing if i give it this ssn you can see this record so we are showing just this variable home address here but we are not showing the content of this home address variable so back to my editor you can see on line 56 we have to put this one in a php scope so echo this home address variable in a php scope so if i save this one and just refresh this page you can see the home address in new york so this is it for this simple project the basic purpose of this project is to build an application by which you can learn how you can work with the simple function of pdo and how you can change your simple straight html form into a php form and put the data inside your database i used very simple function of pdo i used named parameter and the query and fetch function to show you how to work with databases but still i use very simple sql statement you seen the query to insert the data you seen the query to search the data you have seen the query to update the data you have seen the query to delete the data but sql is not that narrow you can do a lot of thing with learning sql sql is a vast language and it has variety of functions that you can use to create more powerful application